Okay, so I think I'm live, and let me just fix my microphone here, or so I can hear myself properly, sorry. Okay, I should have done that before. So I apologize if the stream is a little jittery. YouTube's telling me my streaming is bad. I was looking at it, it seems to come and go. I don't know what's going on. The bitrate coming from my computer seems good, but let's hope this works out well. Uh, so my plan for this video is to uh, be looking at doing some background videos, but I'll probably also do a Q&A along the way as well, just because, um, yeah, I think uh, it won't take too long to get through the content. So if uh, you have any questions or anything as I'm going through, or if we get to the end and there's some stuff that comes up, please don't be shy. Also, uh, for those who are here, please let me know if the audio is okay. I think it was okay when I was checking it out before, but um, please just let me know. Uh, if you can't hear me well, and again, I apologize if the stream is a little bit jittery or anything or all of that. It seems that uh, that could be a bit of an issue, but hopefully it's okay. Um, and I will be recording this, so uh, it will be up um, eventually uh, on my channel as well. Um, I'm obviously using Grid and some other stuff on this uh, as we go through because it's just more fun um, to do all of that. So, uh, hi guys, hi Saharish and Technopal and anyone else who is here. There are a few other people here, so uh, hi and thank you for joining me in this. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so let's just get started on this. I'm not going to start with the video right away. I'm just going to start with the layout and it won't take us long to get there. Um, this is something that I've been playing around with a little bit. Um, I don't really think it's the right way to be using Grid, but um, it works for what I'm about to do. So, <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is, I have this section of more stuff here, which is just sort of the content that comes after. Thanks, Saharish, for letting me know that everything seems okay. I hope that stays true um, for everybody. Oh, one. Um... One second, guys. Just have to pause for one second here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be coming on here, my more stuff that I have right here, which just has my H2 and a whole bunch of paragraphs. I just want that after my video, but I figure I'll set it up first. Um, so I'm going to come here and just do a more stuff uh, like that. And on that, I'm going to do a display of grid because I want to use the grid to lay it out. Now, where this can be a bit more fun is in how we can use this. Um, so, and again, I don't really think this is how columns, how we probably want to be using it in general, but it's a way to avoid having to set up um, a container and all of that. So on my columns here, I can do 1FR, 80%, and 1FR. So it's saying that I'll have a column, well, we can see there, we have a column of 80% in the middle, and then these are just sort of the leftover space on the two sides, so it's sort of a 10% and a 10% there. And uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of SAS um, on this, but nothing to... I hope I don't say your name wrong, Facundo. <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining us. Hi, Kim. Thank you also for joining along. Um, so I will be doing a bit of SAS here, uh, but it's nothing... Whoops, not 7. Ampersand. And star. So pretty much what this is, is select any direct descendant of more stuff. If I was writing out this without SAS, I would just do... Uh, more stuff, space, you know, I could type it out like that and then put my rules in here. But I like SAS, so I'm going to stick with that for this one. Uh, and then I'm going to set up my grid column. And it's going to start at line 2, and it's all going to span 1. Which pretty much means skip this first one, put everything in that middle one of 80%, and then we don't put anything in that last one there. Uh, on that side. So it pretty much makes a container without having to make a container. And you could even make this a bit more complicated with a min max on that one and it would work. Uh, I don't know if I'd really want to do this on a live website or something like that, but uh, for my demos and stuff, I have been playing around with that and I think it uh, is kind of fun. 
Munib, thank, thank you for joining us. So thanks. It looks like there's more and more people in here. So thank you guys all for joining in. Again, if you have any questions as I'm going through this, please uh, don't be shy and let me know. Uh, ask away while I'm doing things or even if they're off topic, I don't mind. Uh, that's what we're here for. Sorry, my I have another computer on the side here. So I'm um, just checking on what's going on. It's keeping me up to date on how the stream is behaving. So I uh, apologize if I'm looking away every now and then. I also have allergies or a cold or something right now. So if I cough, uh, I apologize. I'll try not to cough into the mic because I know that can be really loud. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to be making um, live videos as well. Uh, this actually came about because I'm really tight on time these days. Um, I have a lot going on with my real job and uh, some stuff. There might actually not be a video next week. We'll see what happens there. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but my real life job and family and all of that has been taking a lot of time. So this takes more time tonight to do because uh, I'll be here for a little bit. But I think that uh, I won't have to edit it. So I get to save a little bit of time along the way. Okay, um, so let's get to the actual video and the meat of this. So my video will be going right here. Now, luckily with, um, well, actually, let's just start with the basics of this before I get into the luckily thing. Um, the video works basically by having a video open and video close, um, if you've never used it before. So it's not like an image. An image, you just have image and that's it. But this is like picture. I don't know if any of you guys have used the picture closed picture. I'm actually going to do a video on using this. This is more for, well, the way I understand it, uh, the picture one is more used for when you're doing, um, if you want to load in different images at different resolutions. So if you have something, you know, you could be bringing your retina images on for retina displays and just a regular 72 DPI image for uh, low res screens and stuff. I do need to research it a bit more, but that's how I understand that working. Video is a little bit different because different browsers support different formats of video. Even though MP4 is sort of becoming the standard, um, there was the OGG, which was really popular, OGG, or you might see OGV, were a popular format for quite a while, uh, or popular, they were around. Um, they, I don't, these days it seems to be MP4 as well as uh, the web, WebM. WebM is an open source uh, one by Google. It has better compression than the MP4, so it has advantages. It just doesn't have the, as good of a browser support. Um, so what we can do with this video tag here, um, Derival92, where the, the SAS thing is, uh, I'll explain it again, just so. Um, this would be, if I was writing this in regular CSS, this would be more stuff, space, star, uh, so yeah, space, and then my grid column to all of that uh, would just fit in here. Uh, the ampersand just replaces whatever is here, so when I'm nesting it. And you can only do that with SAS or SCSS. And um, uh, just so you know, and actually, uh, I'm on presentation mode, so I know you guys are watching this live. Um, but if you want, you can actually go to this URL right here. I'll leave this up on the screen for a second, um, and you'll be able to follow along with you know, what I'm doing live, it might be a bit easier to see. So it's up to you if you just want to listen and follow along with what I, what I have up here. The audio might be behind the code pen. I'm not sure because uh, there is a delay with YouTube, so it's possible. But if you want to follow along with this, you can um, go to that URL and you'll be able to follow along, I think, live from what I understand on how this works with code pen. Um, I will be doing more tutorials on SAS. And while you guys are here, I did a Twitter poll the other day and I should have done a YouTube poll. I always forget that I can do YouTube polls, so I might do one later. But if I were to do videos on SAS, what type of video, what type, do you want beginner, complete beginner stuff? Do you want more advanced stuff, uh, like cool mix-ins? Do you want creating your own functions? What type of stuff would you like to see? Uh, I'd be really curious to know. I'm not gonna do a ton, but I will be doing some videos uh, along the way. Okay, so on here, um, so what we want to do now is there's a source tag and the source tag is a little bit more like in the the image tag that you're used to you have the source uh, SRC and then you'll also have a type now the type will always be a video I'm not gonna get this backwards am I uh, video I think 
I'm having a brain fart. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember if it's video first or the format first. Luckily, um, I think it's video and then MP4. And if you had multiple different um, sources, you could just have source SRC and then type is equal to video slash uh, web M, something like that. Uh, so this would be your path dot web M video, and this would be your you know, path to your URL dot uh, MP4 video. And what pretty much happens is the, the browser will be reading through it. If it understands what this is and it can load that one in, it will load this one because it's the first one it comes across. But sort of like CSS, if it doesn't understand something, it will just skip it and go to this one instead. So it won't load both videos in. It's only going to load one of them. In general, you'd probably put the WebM first. Again, it's better compression. So with the same file size, you could have a better quality video. So that one usually you'll find first. And again, there is also OGG, but I think WebM um, has sort of got rid of the OGG or OGV um, file format. No, I could be wrong on that. I'm not a huge expert on uh, this. This is more about styling it. Now, sadly, I've <laughs> getting a WebM, um, there's free online conversion tools that aren't the best. Uh, and CodePen only lets me upload videos that are very limited in size. Uh, oh, I can't, I'm in the, I can't get my assets. Okay, that's okay. I can get it off screen here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, now let's just get my video. That's okay. Um, CodePen lets me upload assets because I have a pro account. Um, but I couldn't actually get a WebM to be small enough. I could have made a shorter video, I guess, but let's just bring in this one so we can see that I have a video. There we go. Um, Calvin, advanced mix-ins would be nice. Cool, thank you for letting me know. If anyone else has any input on that, let me know. Um, so I've brought in my video here, but as you can see, it's just a black square. And this is because the first frame of the video is black. Uh, if you had a video that actually had a picture at the very beginning, the, um, you'd be seeing uh, the, the, the whatever the first frame is, that's what comes up here by default. And this is kind of useless, you know. Why would you want to have this? Um, so on the video here, there's a whole bunch of attributes we can put. One of them being controls with an S. Um, so that actually makes it a bit more useful because now I can play my video. So there we go. I have a video. It's coming in. I can play it. I can pause it. Other ones you can put in are um, muted if you want it to mute. Now this video doesn't have any sound to begin with, but we can do muted and this will become important. Um, I'll mention that again a bit later. We also do autoplay. And now it's, you know, as soon as the page loads, it's just gonna play by itself. And we can also do a loop. So it's gonna autoplay and it's gonna loop and there's controls down here at the bottom. Vivek Kumar, thank you. I'm glad you uh, like my tutorials. And yeah, it will be uploaded uh, a little bit later, or probably tomorrow or the day after uh, this should be up online. Um, so there we go. It's looped through. You can see now it's looping through and it's playing the video again. Um, so there are some interesting things. Now I'm actually going to take all of this off and just go back to my black one. There we go. So I have my black one. Um, now, there are some things you could do to try and prevent this from happening, and this is on one of my CodePen assets as well. I took a screenshot. Um, so on here, one thing you can put is a poster. So if I do poster, and this is where you'd put an image, not a video. So I have an image from the video, and it's just the, you know, this is a really long thing because they um, CodePen puts it on um, Amazon. Um, but you can see it brought in that poster. So whatever the poster is, that's if before the video plays, what do you want the user to see? And because I have no controls, it just looks like a static image right now. So in general, you'd have controls or you'd have autoplay. Now, the one thing that's really important here is with the autoplay, if you have autoplay and you actually want it to work, don't uh, make sure it's muted. Because uh, if there is sound, uh, I think Safari won't play it, and Chrome, I think, is starting to either auto-mute things, or maybe it will just not play, I'm not sure. Uh, but the browsers are starting to not like videos auto-playing, and I'm sure you've been on websites where video auto-plays and you're kind of annoyed when the sound kicks in. Um, so if something does auto-play, it's considered best practice to make sure it's muted. 
Um, and you can do muted with controls and then the person can turn it back on. Now what's a little bit different with this is we want it to be a background image, right? So we want this to be something um, that people can see. So after my video here, but still in this, let's come and do an H1. I'll just do the great outdoors, even though this is more about like mountain climbing and stuff, but you know, I'll do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now the great outdoors comes out down here and this isn't like doing a background image. A background image is nice and easy. You go in your CSS, background image, and you're done. Uh, I wish it was that easy all the time. Sadly, it's not. Um, with video, they're not meant to be backgrounds. They're really meant to be something that's in with the content. So if we want it to be a background, we've got to fight with it a little bit. Um, and that's just why there's a few important considerations that I'll sort of try and go over with uh, the setup of this. Also, ideally, I would have my second source, but as I mentioned, um, I, I couldn't get a WebM to be under 2M, uh, 2 megs. I could have... <sighs> Premiere... It's open source and Premiere doesn't actually have a WebM uh, encoding by default and I was under a bit of a rush so I didn't have time to actually get a plugin to do that, which they do have. Um, yes, Saharesh, thank you. Uh, I remember that and I will be uh, covering that in at one point or another. I'm, I've, the, um, the dynamic HSL color schemes for uh, SAS. <laughs> There, there, it's a really cool um, thing, and I'm, I wish I had more time these days. <laughs> As I said, I've been really busy, but I will be doing, I'll probably be actually do a YouTube video on that, um, on that one, because it's something really cool that you can do with SAS to dynamically come up with color schemes and stuff. It's neat. Uh, so I might, I'll, I'll see if I can get something out for that in the not too distant future. Okay, so I'm all caught up in the chat. Uh, and again, if you're not here live, I, I don't have the chat on my window because last time it took up too much space, but um, if you can ever come in live, uh, then, you know, you can partake in the chat. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we have my thing. So I want to get this text on top of that. Um, you probably have an idea. I am going to be using some absolute positioning for this, and you can also use fixed positioning and some other stuff for it. Um, and there, there is quite, there's some interesting things you can do to get this set up. I am going to be using grid for it, but obviously grid's browser support isn't a hundred percent. So just take that into account or actually, you know what? I'll show you a way you can do it with grid and maybe we'll look at a way to do it, uh, without grid as well. Muhammad, um, is asking which one is better SAS or less? I've never used less, so uh, I'm a, I, I prefer SAS because that's what I know. Um, SAS seems to be bigger within the industry, so if you're just after what more people are using, then I would say SAS. There are I, I always get surprised every now and then when some really big framework or some big company is still focused or is still set up with less, just because you see SAS. SAS seems so ubiquitous, but less. It, there's nothing wrong with less and SAS even now just switched over to Dart which is instead of Ruby they've gone to Dart which uh, for them they're saying it's better I'll take their word for it it's just it's weird they've gone to a sort of an obscure language and I'm curious if it's gonna hurt them at all but I don't think so just because of like node uh, you know lib SAS and all of that it probably won't have any effect my throat is really itchy <coughs> sorry guys these allergies are driving me nuts um, <laughs> a few people are saying that SCSS and SAS in general are better uh, over there in the comments. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put a background on my hero here, background of light blue, and uh, let's give this a height of like 80 VH. I don't want it to be full screen. If I wanted it to be full screen, though, you could just come in here and make that 100. If you don't know about VH, I do have a video on it. It's just a viewport height, so it's just going to make sure it's taking up the whole height of my screen. If you know much about CSS, you know you can't do 100% um, because that's annoying and you can't. Uh, so <laughs> there's reasons for it, but I don't feel like getting into it right now. Um, so we're going to go with 80 VH just to get 80% of the height of my screen. So that way, if my screen adjusts, it adjusts with it. Um, so that's good. Um, 
Let's just add a margin bottom here to margin bottom of, I don't know, 6M. Something just to make some space there. Maybe a bit smaller, 4. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll do... <laughs> Saharish is asking um, how we can, I'm talking about using things that don't have the greatest browser support. So we'll make this, uh, so we can, I'll, I'll create the fallbacks in this. Why not? Uh, yeah, might as well. So, um, should I? Yeah, we might as well. Um, actually, I'm going to switch my margin bottom here to like a 5VH. Again, my margin then can adjust with the screen. Five, six, maybe a little bigger. Um, I'm trying to think <laughs> to get my video on the front. And just if I am going to do this with a browser support, um, what the best idea would be. Um, yeah, we'll do it because it's, it's pretty, I'm not going to do anything too complicated here. Yeah, okay. So let's come up to my... Um, I'm going to give this video a class of hero uh, background. Just so imagining we had lots of videos. We'd want to have a class so just so I can control them separately. <coughs> uh, so we can have my hero background. I was just saying how I like SAS and then I didn't use it here, but that's okay. Um, my hero background. So my hero, actually, this is my hero. Uh, let's move this up so we can have more of our CSS visible. We'll do a position relative. And then here in my background, a position of absolute. So again, my hero background is my video. So anytime you see this, it's literally just the video itself. Um, now, what's weird about all this, let's just come in here and give this a, a background of red so we can actually see what's happening. And I'll give this a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Uh, and you'll see that when I do the height of 100%, you'd think the video would actually stretch to fit that whole space, but it doesn't. It ends up having uh, these red bars come out instead. That's kind of annoying, right? Like, why would that happen? Why wouldn't it just make the video fill up? And maybe this would stretch the video, but um, this is kind of annoying. So one of those things I was talking about uh, that doesn't have the... It, it's not bad browser support, but it's object fit. Um, you might see this for... Actually, the browser support for this is kind of weird. It's really good for images. For videos, it's better, but it's not amazing. Um, and this is sort of like being able to do background size cover. You can see there, now it's covering the whole space. Um, so that's kind of just how it works. Uh, sorry, just reading the comments. Yeah, Dory Val, just the 80 VH, exactly. It's just so it, I always get kind of annoyed with those ones that are 100 VH, uh, and then they just put like the big arrow pointing down that's bouncing up and down. I don't want to see an arrow bouncing up and down. Just let me know there's more content there, you know. Um, chances are I'm going to scroll anyway, but um, I don't know. Just that that's my personal belief. A lot of people like the big 100% screen, so uh, do what you think looks nicer too. It depends on the design and lots of other stuff. Um, okay, so and a few other people that were just mentioning the same thing. That's cool. Um, so background, so object fit cover will help. Now, obviously I can't actually see my text. I'm wondering, I'm just going to come on my text here. Hero title. Um, just so I can get my text to actually be on top. Dot hero title. And a position of relative on that, just so it pops out on top. Um, just because this is absolute, so if I give this a position they sort of start restacking again. Um, and because this is second, it's after my video, I don't have to worry about a Z index or anything. They'll just, they'll stack in the order that they're coming in as long as they have a position on them. Now I mentioned I was gonna use the grid uh, on here. And the reason that it's, we can use the, the display grid is because this is my favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, 
place items center. Ah. How amazing is that? <laughs> I don't know. If you, I do have a newsletter now, just in case you don't know. And in my newsletter, I did talk about this. And I just think that's amazing. Place item center, and it's in the middle. How did it take this long for CSS to give us this? It still makes... I've been using this for a little while now, and it still makes me happy every time I do it. <laughs> um, okay, so that gets me that in the middle. And actually, let's come back to here and put the hero title... Um, Color, white, font size, for rem, box, uh, text shadow, text shadow, I don't know, zero, zero, five pixels, RGBA. If you want to know another really amazing thing about SAS is that I can just write black here and like 0.25. Uh, and just so you see it's working, red, it should just make that one or like 0.5. Hopefully you can see that on your screen, that it is working. Just being able to put a color here. It could be a hex code, whatever. If I did uh, 0, 0, 0 for black, it's going to work. I love being able to do that. That's with SAS that you can do that. You can't do that with regular <coughs> uh, with regular CSS. You'd have to write the 0, 0, 0 thing out. <laughs> you know, if nothing else, it's worth using SAS just for that sometimes. Um, okay. So that is in the middle. Now, how can we do that with, uh, actually, let's go back to my video. Let's get the video working, and then I'll, I'll come and build the browser support back into that. Hopefully, I do it right. I'm, I'm thinking as I'm doing this on it. I haven't done the, the um, it's using at supports. It's sort of like a media query, at media. It's at supports. Um, I feel like I'm going to screw it up, though, because I haven't done it since my last grid series. Uh, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, OK, so on my background now, Okay, so it's there, it looks like an image. So on here, let's just do my autoplay, so the video actually plays. I also want to do a loop, and I want to do muted. The video doesn't have any sound on it, so I shouldn't have to do that, but I think Safari, or at least like the iOS version of Safari, might not play it unless this keyword is there, or at least that's what I read. Um, so just, maybe I'm passing on not true advice, but I read that somewhere along the way. Uh, so I just do it all the time, and it's not hard to write muted, so why not do it? Now, there's a lot on, um, just make sure there's small file sizes if you do this, because if this loads in at, like, this 1080p thing on a, you know, it's a simple little background video, um, people might be angry at you if it's using up a whole bunch of their data. Data? 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 Um... So just be a little bit careful with the videos you're bringing in if you're going to do this. Um, so you don't uh, drive people nuts. And I think I might stop the video in a second just because it's bothering me <laughs> having to work with it on. But basically that's how you do it. Um, now, if you want to do it without this, um, we can. So let's say, so what I'm going to do on this actually is do an at supports. Uh, so this is like a media query. So it's at media. So it's at supports. But instead of putting in the the size, you're putting in what it supports. Uh, and I want it to, if it supports object fit. And I think I can write it like that. I'm just worried I have to write like the whole thing with the cover. But I think this is going to work where I say object fit. And I could do object fit cover. I think I can write it out all like that. Uh, so if it does support it, then I want this to work. So it let's see, it's working. Good. So the fact that my browser supports this, so it's coming in and it's working now. Because if it, you know, if I comment that out, it's not working. So if the browser, if it didn't work on the browser, it's just it gets to this at supports. There's two possibilities. The first possibility is it doesn't know what at supports even is. So that means it skips it. It doesn't look at it, doesn't do any problems. It just goes, I don't know what that supports is. Let's keep going. The second is it knows what this is, but it doesn't support object fit. Now I'm a little worried about this because the object fit, some browsers support object fit, but they don't support it for video. They only support it for images. So I'm not sure how we could overcome that. That is something that could be interesting, but let's assume that it's not working. Uh, what I'm going to actually do on here is a min width 
of 100% and a min height of 100%. And I think what I'd do actually all of this would have to go um, into my my ad supports. So this is going to have it go, but what happens is this is going to give it side scrolling because it's doing a min height and a min width. So the, the height has to be 100%. So it's going to make sure that it fits 100%, but to keep it in proportion, that means it's making it bigger than the whole area. So that just means over here on the hero itself, I need to do an overflow hidden. Uh, so overflow hidden. The at supports, uh, I just see a few comments coming in. Uh, there's no need for JavaScript. No, I see these things done with JavaScript all the time and I don't know why people make background videos with these big complicated JavaScript things. I had, honestly, I, I looked into it. I was looking at their JavaScript. I'm like, why are you making it so complicated? I, I, I never understood it. Maybe in the old days before you needed it for something. I, I don't get it. Um... I just see something talking about modals and I don't know why they're mentioning modals. Um, that's okay. I'll keep going. So I think this would all ideally um, come into here. So because it's using the object fit, so I'd actually... That seems to be working. If I comment that out, it does it change? looks exactly the same, I think. So yeah, I'd probably do something like that, and even this could come up here. So it would use this, and if it has the ability to use the objects, the object fit, it would do that. Now, I, again, I am a bit worried because some browsers support object fit, but not on video, uh, so it might break that. So this, this might be the better option for now, and just doing the overflow of hidden uh, could work there. Um, the same thing for the grid on getting that to actually be in the center. This could be something like at supports, supports grid, uh, display grid. If it does support grid, uh, do this. And then if it doesn't support grid, or even that could be at the bottom. If it doesn't support grid, we'd have a display flex. And you know, if it doesn't support grid, um, hopefully you're not going to like IE9 or something. Uh, display flex. Um, Let's just turn this off so I can make sure that what I do here works. Justify, not that this is hard. Justify content center align items center. All right, so I would use this and you know, would you really bother putting both of these? I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to the day when this works for everything. Uh, just because you know, this is only three lines, but I can do it in two. So I, yeah, I'm lazy. I like doing it in two. And this, I don't know, again, the place items for me center. Um, is great. Can the video be a YouTube link? Probably not. <laughs> uh, let me get, I'm going to do this off screen just so, cause I'm going to be in my dashboard and I think there's things in there that I'm, anyway, I don't think there's anything too secret, but, uh, let's just get the latest one. Let's see what happens. The only thing I'm worried about with a YouTube one is, I don't know, can we autoplay um, a YouTube link? We won't have the right control, because um, with a it won't work like this. YouTube, it's coming in as an iframe. <coughs> Sorry if that was loud. Uh, Lunkito, hopefully I got your name right. Yeah, this will be a video on my YouTube channel in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, so if you bring it in, a YouTube uh, embedded YouTube things are always iframes. So um, iframes are a little weird in how they work um, if you're styling them. So I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. I think you do have to have the video on your server, which can wreak havoc on um, 
your bandwidth. Except the video. Let's see if I can actually get this. YouTube doesn't want my video to load. There we go. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. Iframes, if ever you have to style an iframe and actually get it to behave the way you want it to, it's not very fun. Um, why is this? Just to show you, uh, embed. I'm going to copy all this. Let's just paste that in. Um, so if we look here, whoops, this is one of my videos that I just brought in myself. Um, so iframe, you get the width and height on it, which you can modify and play around with. And the source, this is one of mine. Uh, allow autoplay. It can autoplay. Hmm. And allow full screen is fine. You can see there the video has come in. Um, so what did I call that again? Hero background. Let's just see what happens. Class equals hero background. I don't think it's going to work. It sort of works, <laughs> but I have a play button in there. Um, allow autoplay was on, but it's not autoplaying. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of awkward. And you have the controls. You can't have the controls turned off. Uh, hey, hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of awkward. It can sort of work. And you're also getting, I'm getting the black bars. And I think that's, I'm live. <laughs> Look at that. Um, yeah, you, I can't, this is where the iframe styling gets very limited um, because of the way the whole iframe thing works. So, yeah, not really. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Uh, I'm just going to take off the autoplay and the loop for now. And put that back. Um, yeah, probably the same with Vimeo, I'm guessing. This is where you'd have to uh, invest in a little bit of server space. Um, one thing I'd also recommend while we're on the topic of all this is just to have this hero area have a background on it. Just in case, like right now I have a white text. I did put a little text shadow on there, but if the video doesn't load for something, like something catastrophic happens and this just craps out, um, you want to make sure people can still read the text you have on there. So either as a background image or a background color or something, just to make sure worst case scenario, something really weird happens, um, just having a background on it in general would probably be a good idea. Uh, I don't really think anything catastrophic like that would happen, but you just want to cover all your bases just in case. So while I have you guys here, um, if anybody has any questions, uh, I'm sort of finished with this, I think. Um, so again, just make sure you have muted autoplay and all of that. The basics of it are, uh, the position relative for the whole hero area, and then having position absolute and just either a min width and min height, and then, uh, setting the overflow to hidden. So just those two together, plus the overflow hidden to make sure nothing weird happens. And if you can, if object fit um, is your, your jam, uh, then you can just do a width and height and a object fit of cover. Let's just go check, but can I use? It's pretty weird, the object fit browser support, if I remember right. Uh, oh, it's better than it used to be. It's edge only? Partial support. There was another browser that had partial support. I'm sure of it. Oh, it's better than I thought it was. So pretty much not an Internet Explorer, and it won't work for videos in Edge, but everything else, even like Opera Mini, like awesome, except it needs prefix, so just be careful. Um, but wow, why did I think it wasn't so good? Because even the old versions, hmm, that's interesting. Um, I also find it weird that this is only for images and not for videos, but there you have it. If you don't know about Can I Use, like, uh, really, really nice. Even the grid now, guys, like, you can, can't use the grid depending, but 
<laughs> like look at that support. That's really impressive. Edge is fully supporting. It's up to like the current syntax. So as long as you don't need older versions uh, of the grid. Um, and even if you're Opera Mini, like do you need a grid layout if it doesn't work and it just stacks everything on top of each other when you're on a phone? Is that the worst case in the world? Probably not. Um, it's it's just IE 11 with their and even it's partial support, but it's an older version of the spec, so it just causes issues. Um, it's also where you want to be careful with the um, supports. I think IE 11 understands supports, and it does support display grid. So you could always do a display of something else, because I don't remember the older version of the spec. Saharish, how is your SAS course coming along? You said you haven't had much time lately. Yeah, so if you don't know, I am working on a... Um, SAS course that uh, a premium course and uh, it it's come along really well but I've just run into like I just actually sent out I should send out a newsletter for all the people that are on the waiting list because I just sent out a letter to those who have got in their initial very early release saying that I'm delaying any updates for like the next month um, I was doing every two weeks I was updating the content for it and I just got too busy um, but in about a month, I will be able uh, to do some stuff. Do, do, do. I'm just looking for a property on here. Display grid. So, like, yeah, it understands the grid. I can't remember. Does anyone know the... I can't find what I'm looking for. Display grid, display grid, grid template... column there's an, one of the old syntaxes that um, they use that I don't remember what it is anyway I'm not going to worry about it too much now but you can use one of the old syntaxes instead bootstrap studio I don't even know what bootstrap studio is <laughs> bootstrap stu studio what's bootstrap studio is do that right? Dewad post processor. Yeah, SAS is a, a post processor. Yeah, Bootstrap Studio. It depends if you're using Bootstrap a lot <laughs> by the looks of it. Uh, no. <laughs> if you're going to use something like this, in my opinion, you might as well. Uh, it looks cool. I bet you it's really well done. Um, it looks. It's if you don't want to learn the code part of it, but if you're going to do that, uh, you might as well use uh, Webflow, just because it won't limit you to Bootstrap. It's just going to make more available, I would guess. Um, you know, it's the same idea. Maybe I'm wrong. I ha I've used Webflow a little bit. Um, I get I just can't find all the things. I know the CSS well enough that this actually takes me longer to use these days. Um, but I would probably use Webflow over that Bootstrap Studio, but I could be wrong. I haven't used Bootstrap Studio, so I don't know for sure. Um, Auto Prefixer, yeah, Auto Prefixer should take care of... Uh, I'm not sure if Auto Prefixer would look at the old syntax or not, though. Maybe. Actually, let's see. Uh, yeah, it must, right? I'd have to do a little test. I know auto prefixers in here, but I'm not doing anything too complicated. Let's just see if it picked up anything weird along the way. Uh, so it's it you know as I mentioned, the Opera needs the Opera Mini needs the AE, the prefix on there, so it's doing that. Um, it's not doing anything for my grid. I don't. I I, I guess it would pick up the old syntax. Uh, yeah, Webflow is really cool especially i'm surprised i don't like it more just because i am a designer by trade i came from like design in design and photoshop and illustrator and all of that um but i just get frustrated because i can't find the properties as fast as i could just write them out but for someone who's just coming up and learning now it's such a cool tool um i've heard i have heard some people get a bit feel a little bit limited by it because i don't think you can do everything especially now with the grid uh opening up new possibilities i think that uh I'm curious if that's going to hurt any of these sort of more automated things because I don't know how they're going to handle the grid. 
Um, but yeah, for inter the animations, it is pretty cool. Um, I saw a comment before. Hmm. I saw a comment before and I don't see it now that I wanted to ask a question on answer on. Hmm. Oh, the Slack. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's a really good question, Mohammed. Um, I don't have a well. I sort of have a Slack channel. Anyone who was in the early, early, early um, access to my SaaS course got into a Slack channel. I, should I talk about it now? I was saving this. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of starting up a Discord. Uh, I like Slack, but I think the Discord will offer a little bit more. Um, just because Slack limits on on their free plan. Um, the voice chat and the video chat, it's really, really limited, whereas Discord offers a lot more on that. And I just think for, you know, if, if there's a community going on that it could um, either through voice chat uh, on sharing, you know, even if you open up a code pen, you're in collab mode or something and you're, you don't have to be sharing screens and you can share up to like 10 people screens, I think, through Discord or like, you know, do a voice chat and all that. So I am thinking about um, doing that. There'll be a lot more news on that in a couple months, maybe less. We'll see. Um, but I have looked at starting to uh, get into that. So yeah, yeah, I was going to be saving more information on that later. But now you know, I am looking into it. Um. Oh, thanks for letting us know. Uh, Streetcar is just saying that due to backwards compatibility issues, prefixer, auto prefixer doesn't prefix grid stuff by default. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So that's interesting. So grid doesn't get prefixed by default. Um, I'm guessing it's in the options where you can turn it on. XD is amazing. I think Sketch is a better app right now, but I'm on PC, so I can't take advantage of that. And in if any of you are from, know about InVision Studio, I've played around with the beta. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the beta coming onto uh, PC. If, especially if you're an app designer and you want to do app stuff for animations, it's crazy how awesome and intuitive it is. Really, really nice app. Um, XD has its work cut out for them a little bit. Um, and if, yeah, um, Sarish mentioned uh, Affinity Designer, so it's a one time payment. If you're into, if you want to eat something like Photo, is Affinity Designer more like Photoshop or Illustrator? I always mix it up. Um, I know they have one for each, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but if you're in, you know, Sketch is definitely good. I have XD just because I have the whole Adobe suite. I use Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, and XD. I guess those are the only ones I use. I'm looking at my bar down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, Adobe, their whole subscription model is kind of annoying, but when it was two grand in one shot, just to get all the software, that sort of sucked too. Uh, <laughs> um, but the subscription model is expensive if you only use one or a couple of the software. And I think they're limiting themselves a little bit in that respect. Um, that for people like me who need the whole suite, it works like 50 bucks a month. I can, I can actually justify that. But if you only need one app or maybe even two apps, like, uh, it's a complete waste of money. I don't, you know, you, you don't need all of those things. You could get a one-time payment and it's two months, the cost of two months or even one month. Like it's crazy a little bit. Are you only 14, Sarah? <laughs> I wish I was 14 doing this stuff. <laughs> I actually started when I was young, but I feel like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I want to be coding something here for you guys. We're just, I'm happy you're so active in the chat though. This is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I remember <laughs> Photoshop. Uh, my first, I was I, how old was I when I made my first websites? I started playing around with Photoshop. I was in high school, so probably a bit older than 14 though, probably like 16. It was all table based layouts. That was fun. <laughs> That's a I, web for me was a hobby for the longest time. Like I started in high school, did a few little, 
simple, simple websites, like really fun stuff. I'd do it in Photoshop. Uh, even then, you, you know, you can slice it all up and export the table and then add some interactivity and add your links in and all of that. Then I started learning it. Then I didn't touch it for two years. Then I, eh, this would be fun to like do something else. Like for like 10 years, it was just like this on and off, on and off, on and off little hobby uh, and fun thing that I was doing uh, before I finally started taking it a bit more seriously. But Even it was uh, when I was in school and doing design stuff, we had like one really short class on web, and I think that's what sparked me to really get back into it. Benny, <laughs> three twenty a.m. Oh no, uh, I'm just sort of winding down, but um, I don't know what to do. Do I have anything on CodePen? that's fun to play around with I don't I haven't been I haven't had the time just to do stuff I do something like just off the cuff now uh for fun but I don't I can't think of anything cool to do uh, I'm too tired <laughs> uh I'm trying to think of something cool I could do with the grid or something but even there if anyone has any questions please let me know um it doesn't have to be a video, just something that I could be doing while you guys are chatting away, and I can be following on. Ninth grade, that's awesome. I'm going to bring the chat up onto this, just so if anyone is watching this later, they're actually seeing uh, a little bit of what's going on, since I'm just... Uh, let's bring it on this side. Uh, since I'm just talking right now. Uh, anyway, I'm not coding. create tweets about clear coding for collab yeah that's not a bad idea um i don't find i mean part of it's leaving comments i guess now i'm getting better at javascript so you learn how to code better when you're doing javascript and leave better comments just because javascript's more complicated than html and css <laughs> photoshop has been around for a long time the first versions of photoshop didn't even have layers i didn't use that one uh, the first version of Photoshop I used, it's a good question. When I was in school, it was CS3. <laughs> so that's just to give you, when I was in school for design, it was CS3. Uh, I was using Photoshop before the whole CS thing even existed. It was just like Photoshop, a number. I don't know what number it was. Photoshop 6. I'm wondering if that's when I started. Oh, you, you started in Photoshop when you were 14, but coding came at 40. Is that Dexter with the H there? Um, can we bring SVG into the video element or create custom controls? You know what? You can, and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I've done it once, like probably two years ago. Um, so I'm not even going to try right now in the video. I wish I could. Um, yeah, videos are heavy. Uh, WebM should be better, Benny, than the regular ones. Um, in general, not in the stream. <laughs> you know, I'd rather, I'd like to do something on the stream. Uh, I have a little bit of time still. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so for compressing videos, WebM is going to help a little bit, but I find the online compression tools, there's like the free converters. WebM is supposed to be smaller file sizes, and I was putting in MP4s, and they kept becoming out as bigger file sizes on the WebM. So I don't know exactly what was going on there. Um, video in general is just heavy. Like, this is a pretty short video, and it's I got it down to 2 megs, and it took me a long time to get it down to 2 megs. It's like 3... 320p or something like that. Like I really had to go small um, to get it at a decent size, <coughs> which is which is annoying. I agree. Um. Hmm. How to make website load faster than usual? Faster than usual. I was going to be doing a video, I had a suggestion a long time ago for a video on, um, what's it called? Like, the Google thing that tracks, like, gives you, 
Google has a tool that will read your site and then give you ideas on making it better. So you get like a score. Don't aim for 100. It, I don't think it's possible. Um, in general, it's just on optimizing your file sizes for images and it's not something I'm super good at <laughs> either. <laughs> um, what do I use for web hosting? That's a good one. Um, my personal site is currently hosted by netlify.com and I love Netlify because it's super easy to use. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you're not hosting, if you have it, like I, I used to be using a traditional one. Guys, it's free. You can have your website for free. Now there are limitations on it, but it's it's crazy. This is static websites though. The main limitation is it's static websites. You can't have like a WordPress site on here or anything. But it even it connect with your, your your GitHub account, so like you just push a change on your master, and then well, oh, my website's been updated. I didn't have to do anything. I just pushed on my master. Like it's really cool. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at um, if you are looking at uh, looking for web hosting, go with Netlify for now. I think there's other services that are similar, um, but it's free for and it, like HTTPS free like zero dollars a month HTTPS custom domain you just have to pay for the domain obviously and link it um it, it's really really cool i do know they offer and they even yeah they updated whoops they put in forms recently so that's cool so uh they have their own form thing it you just have to put in i think on the they give you the whatever the meta tag you need to put in there and then it works they're bringing in split testing like it's all for static site stuff if you i'm getting into jekyll a little bit uh, but if you know how to Jekyll and all of that, you can have sort of a blog or whatever you need. Um, they do have like pro team, like they do have some pricing stuff uh, for different things, depending on what you need. If you need teams of people, there are prices, So which makes sense, like they need to make money somewhere. But if you're just by yourself and you're a student or you just want to run some like personal projects with custom domains and stuff, uh, the other one is GitHub Pages. GitHub pages, very, very similar deal going on. Um, it's free. It's just set up with uh, set up with your GitHub account pretty much. Um, the nice thing with Netlify is if you don't have a GitHub account, you can just sort of drag and drop. Like, here's my folder on my desktop. Drag it into the browser. My website's live now. That's really, really nice. And you don't have to have GitHub. So if that's not something you have got around to, that's cool. Um, so just Sarash has said to check out GitHub education pack. I haven't heard of that. So that's a good thing, um, to look at. Now I'd have a good evening. I'm guessing, uh, SVG instead of GIF. Yeah. SVG is a good way to go these days. Yeah, so Netlify is, is only for static websites. But it, again, if you have, uh, I haven't heard of Lighthouse. If you have, um, if you have uh, like a Jekyll build or something like that, you can have a blog and stuff. Um, oh, Lighthouse, this is for, yeah, um, the quality for, for, yeah, sorry, I have heard of that. Yeah, that's a, a night for performance and all that. Uh, and a bit more other stuff. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, for blend modes, who was asking me about blend modes just now? We'll look at them really quickly because that gives me something fun to do. Um, and that's cool. GitHub education. Good to know. I should check that out too. Who asked about blend video? I have a video on... Was it blend modes? Background blend modes. I do have a video on background blend modes, Benny. You can check that out if you want more details on it, but let's go and do, let's come just all the way down, uh, section blend mode. Okay, um, so in here I'm just going to put in, actually I'm going to leave that just like that. And let's come to here, my blend mode height. You gotta spell height right i before e except after c except in the word height or am i spelling it wrong vh background pink did i spell height wrong no i got it right c 
See, it's i before e, except after c, but not in the word height. Hmm. Anyway, okay, I'll leave that there. So let's say I do a background color of, uh, I'll do red just because it's going to be more obvious what's happening. <coughs> and then I can do a background image and I'm just going to use a URL. I'll use on splash it on on splash it. It's just a placeholder site. So this is the dimensions. We'll do like 600 by 600. Uh, so that should, there we go. There's my background image and we'll do a background size cover and then I can do a background blend mode. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know if the background blend mode's been updated and if Safari actually supports all of them now or not. Multiply. If you're with Photoshop or any of the other editing software, um, it's all the ones in there. Safari used to not support the last bottom grouping. I don't know if that's changed or not. It's the end of my drink. <coughs> Hopefully my throat stops itching. Um... So yeah, that's uh, a, a nice, uh, easy way to uh, do a background blend mode. So it's just gonna blend the color with uh, the image right there and multiply, overlay, all the ones you know and love. Uh, should work. <laughs> it's working, I think it's just the image that is in there uh, or else I wouldn't be seeing the red. even like difference, which is a weird one. And you can even have this work with like multiple background images, right? Um, if you want two background images, is it a comma or is it just a space? I don't do multiple background images often enough. On splash it 500 by 500. Let's see if this works. Whoops, maybe they are comma separated. There we go. <laughs> um, can I actually do this? I don't even know if I can do this. Overlay. Multiply. Since overlay seems to be having some issues. Cool. You can actually do like different blending modes on the different layers. I think. Is that working? It is working, but that's kind of neat. You can do different blending modes on different layers. Uh, so multiple background images, multiple blending modes, and all of this. Does it work on the video? No, because it's not um, a background image or a background. The video is just uh, part of the content. It's like having text or whoops, I did something there. <coughs> Full support in Safari now. Awesome. Thank you, Benny. Um, yeah, it won't work in the video, sadly. That'd be kind of cool if you could have a blending mode on a video, but I imagine that would also be super hard on the processor. <laughs> Uh, that would probably cause some performance issues along the way. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm going to have to end it. It's coming up on 1030, and I get up at 520 in the morning. Ugh. It's terrible. <laughs> if you don't have kids, <laughs> I have to get up before the kids so I can be ready for when the kids get up, and then I have to get them to school, and then I have to get to work, and I get up really early in the morning. So uh, that's part of the reason I don't have time as much as I used to. Well, I've been with this job for a long time now. But um, yeah, I think that will be it for tonight. We had a really good showing. So thank you for everyone who has managed to turn up. Um, the ending there was a little bit... Sorry. Uh, the ending uh, was a little bit random, but that's cool. You guys were having some really nice discussions. So I really, really enjoyed the, the discussions going on there. So... Every time I do a live stream, I say I want to do more live streams. Um, for the next month, there will not be. Next week, there may not be a video. We'll see what happens. I will uh, post on the YouTube channel and on Twitter and maybe Instagram, where I, I, I ignore Instagram too much. Um, you get up in three hours, Benny. How old are you? <laughs> I used to do that. I'm too old to get up in three hours now. How, seriously, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm really curious. <laughs> uh, when are you doing an alive? Yeah. Hi, Terry. No problem. I hope you've been here for a while. Hi, and good night. Um, I, my, when I say it's time to go, it usually takes me like five minutes to, to actually 
say by or 10 minutes so i'll be here for a little bit longer still uh to wrap up the chat um it was a nice stream thank you for joining me dexter and for everyone else no problem for the live stream at all thank you guys this was a lot of fun and this is the most interactivity i've ever had on a line stream you're you're just chatting away so this is for me this is great and this is why i'd like to have the community so i could actually be talking and you know back and forth a little bit too it'd be really really cool um another live session not before like a month from now at the earliest if I do another live one, I'd probably plan on something a little bit longer. This was actually the video I had planned to film tonight and then edit tomorrow, but I know I won't be able to edit it tomorrow, so I said, let's do a live stream, and, you know, you're 32 and you're getting up in three hours? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're not young. I'm 34, I think, now. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I really can't. Um... <laughs> Well, I'm not the only one who gets up really early. You guys, I'm glad I'm not the only one who gets up really early or gets not enough sleep. Makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, so yeah, for those of you who have stuck around to the end, I will be starting some sort of Discord in the not-too-distant future. And by not-too-distant future, it might be a while, but within the, this calendar year, um, I have a few thoughts on how I want to do it uh, to get it set up and working and to make sure who is in there is the people that we want in there, if that makes sense. Uh, but it will be, it's in the works. And there will be more information on it in the long term, again. Um, but if you have any suggestions about that, just leave a comment about anything. I, I have never used Discord. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time to game or anything like that, so I haven't used Discord, but it seems really cool. I've used Slack a lot, and Discord just seems to be better. <laughs> so, But the interface is like, what's going on? I'm in there trying to figure it out, and <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Um, all right, so I guess I am going to go. Again, in the next live stream I do, I will have a bit of a longer one. 4.40 a.m. Man, you guys, you're making me feel bad. I used to be such a night owl. I used to be up, like, until <coughs> all the time, super late, and then uh, I had kids, and that doesn't happen anymore. I mean, I can be in bed at, like, 9 o'clock if I'm not doing this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Uh, it's embarrassing a little bit, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I used to be such a night owl, and now, even on nights, like, I'll be out with my wife, we go out, we get a babysitter, it's 10 o'clock, and we're just like, oh, like, let's go home and go to sleep. <laughs> we're exhausted. It's, <laughs> kids, kids change everything, it's crazy. Alright, bye. You guys are saying bye, Sarash, and, am I saying your name right? Sahara, Sarash? I hope I've been saying your names right throughout, I apologize to anyone who I haven't pronounced your names right. I should go instead of just talking about how I am old and all of that. Uh, so yeah, have an awesome night. Thank you once again all for joining me this whole time. It's been a ton of fun and I'm, I will be trying to do these more often. I, even I said I won't be another month. Maybe I'll just do another like live stream. Not next week, but the week after. Instead, you know, Maybe I'll do a few live streams instead of regular videos and then get back more into the, the normal flow of things. We'll see. I, I really don't know. I do have a few fun videos planned, um, but I just, I'm working on the scripts for them and stuff like that. Um, anyway, enough rambling. Indiana, yeah, it's, just, it's only 1040 here too. <laughs> it's 1040 where I am. I'm in Montreal. Uh, so East Coast, Canada. And uh, it's Sahara. Sahara. I hope I'm saying it right. You're spelling it out better for me, and I still 